How can the shape of a boat affect the mass it can carry? By Katie Robertson. I am going to be finding out if the object is denser than the liquid, will it still will it float or sink? The research now is saying the ship sinks if the density of the object is more than the water. My prediction. I predict that it will sink when it gets to 20 because it will be too heavy, therefore pulling the boat under the water, causing it to take on water. Here are the results. When it was a flat boat, it sank at 30. When it was a curved boat, it sank at 30 as well. So at 10, it was floating, 20, floating, 30, it's at the bottom. Same with the curved boat. This is 10 still floating, 20 still floating, 30 you can see it's at the bottom. Conclusion. My prediction was wrong as the boat sank when it got to 30 coins and was able to stay up without leaking until 30. W until 30 were on and it sank at the bottom. This happened because the amount of coins of the density on the boat was too much, forcing the tinfoil down and the boat to sink to the bottom. Thank you for listening. Hi guys, it's Paula Shosin and I'm a biologist and I'm the head of genetics and DNA. This is my three of my students who are going to be also here learning my lesson about what is the Human Genome Project and you guys can learn a lot as well. Let's begin. What is the definition of this field? The Human Genome Project, also known as the HGP, was an international effort to discover the exact genetic materials that controls the way human beings develop and grow. It was started in 1990 and was completed in April 2003. What are the famous discoveries in this field? In April 2003, researchers announced that the Human Genome Project had completed a high quality sequence of essentially the entire human genome. Who are the leading scientists in this field? The US side of the Human Genome Project was initially led by James Watson, one half of Crick and Watson, who discovered the structure of DNA and later by Francis Collins. Credibility. Credibility is basically the quality of being trusted and believed in. But what makes a credible source? There are many factors that make a credible source. So when you're online and you're reading through information, make sure that these things include a credible source. So there are accuracy, objectivity, authority, currency, and coverage. History of the Human Genome Project The Human Genome Project was actually a 13-year-long publicly funded project that was initiated in 1990 of determining the DNA sequence of the entire human genome within 15 years. The History of DNA DNA was actually first discovered in 1869, but its role in genetics was not clear until the 1990s, 1940s. In 1953, scientists James Watson, Francis Crick, Maureen Wilson, and Rosaline Franklin determined the double helix structure of DNA, and then their work earned a Nobel Prize in 1962. History of the Human Genome Project. To get more information, go to this website. And to get more information on the history of DNA, go to this website right here. These both websites are actually very, very credible because this gave me a lot of information and in one word I understood everything and so did my students. Yeah, me too. Yes. So there are facts about the Human Genome Project. The Human Genome Project was actually the largest international collaboration ever undertaken in biology and involved thousands of scientists. What exactly is a genome? A genome is an organism's complete set of genetic instructions, but what is in a genome? A genome section, our genes are actually sections of information of DNA that determine how an organism's body develops. So benefits of the HGP. It may also help lead scientists to find out how humans have involved and how humans are involving today. It will also help to understand the basics of biology and that is something that if people don't know how to do, that's more easy. Advantages and disadvantages of the HDP. Advantages. It will help farmers with livestock breeding. It will assist us in creating disease-resistant crops and animals. There will be improved medicine with good quality. And there will be accurate diagnosis. The doctors don't have to tell us, this is what you have, this is what you have, this is what you have. They'll just say directly without testing us. 
Disadvantage of the HGP, it may cause a loss in human diversity and here are the reasons why. It can develop a trend in designer humans, its information could be used to form new weapons, it could become a foundation of genetic racism and it would be most, most accessible to wealthy cultures. There will be increased stress because people would be diagnosed with stuff and illnesses that they don't even have but because of their stress they will actually get diagnosed with it and for those people who don't have, have the problem of not having kids, they will be stressed so then they will be scared that they will not, they'll not have kids for the next generation and then maybe they don't even have it but because of their stress they will get it. In conclusion, in my opinion, I would say that the disadvantages is something that we all need to work on because this is not right. The HGP is something that we all need to work on. It can cause a loss in human diversity and it could be so much racism. They could be bullying on the ra genetic racism. They could be bullying on the person's body or the problems or stuff that it doesn't have. And yeah, we're done for today. So now we have a few questions. Okay, so how about Shyla? First you, what is the Human Genome Project from your understanding? The Human Genome Project is an international effort to discover the Good job! That's really, really genome. good. That's now you, so good. Alina, what is the DNA from your understanding? In my notes, DNA know, is the material this. that carries all the information about how a living thing Amazing. will look and function. Amazing! How are you guys doing so fast? Okay, the last person, of course, Melina. What do you think that, what do you think that we need to improve for the Human Genome Project and DNA? What do you think, wait, what is the disadvantage? One of the disadvantages this. that I Come mentioned on. earlier. Elena, do it. You can do um, this. Like increase stress. You guys are just racism. so good. But if good you guys job. also want a quiz, it. go to sciencequiz.com. Thank you guys so much for watching our presentation, and I hope you guys learned a lot. Me and the kids want to say something to you guys. I hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed, our, enjoyed, presentation. Our, presentation. enjoyed our presentation. Nice day. Bye. 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 Very interested to me. I was really interested in DNA, and I keep wondering how it's formed and created. So. I decided that this would be the perfect experiment for me. Now, when I was doing this experiment, I had to go through many websites to see which one was the most credible. So I had to look for the author, the date, the sources, the domain, the site design, and the writing style. So for example, if a site had poor spelling or grammar, it would be an indication that the site may not be as credible as other sites other sides. So this was the table that I created to just help me uh, to find the most credible resource. So I added a few positive comments, my issues, and what I learned from it. So I added a few more research questions, which was how does DNA affect the height of a person? What factors can a DNA of one person differ from another person's? And can family members have the same DNA? I did this practical at home and it was a very fun practical. Uh, to do this practical, I had to gather a few information from previous practical experiments. So I found out that this experiment actually worked. The, the DNA formed was in white clusters and it looked cloudy and snot-like. Um, I also added a picture uh, to just show how the DNA has looked through all the experiments that I've been researching on. Um, now, I made a hypothesis just to help me with the conclusion that I do later. So my hypothesis was that I would be able to extract my own DNA and I would be able to analyze it to the fullest. So I would be able to make out the big differences and the small, and the small differences. I made my dependent, independent, and control variables just to remind me um, when I'm doing my experiment. I did also include the ingredients needed and the precautions that would be needed. Um, the method was really easy to follow. It was just that I needed to remember to use the same amount of liquid soap, grapefruit juice, and alcohol. Because if I didn't do that, then the DNA um, results would be unreliable. So this was my experiment. I created a vlog to basically show how I did the experiment and I added a few pictures of the result I got. Now, I can I, I when I started to write my conclusion evaluation, I started noticing a few things. So 
when I, w- I was able to extract my own DNA and that, that part was a success, but when it came to the analyzation part, it was a bit hard as I was only able to spot out the big differences and not the small ones. For example, my DNA compared to my mom's DNA. My DNA is bigger than my mom, it has a different shape than my mom's, and those basic differences. Overall, I th- the, the experiment was a success and I just loved it. And I would definitely try it with all my family members from around the world. Now, I made a similarities and differences just to properly conclude the experiment. Let's start with the similarities. So, my DNA form was cloudy and snot like. It formed in white clusters and there, I could see sort of a spiral shape being formed in some of the DNAs. But uh, in my experiment, I use uh, different materials compared to other used ones. And in my and other experiments, there was more DNA and more of a spiral shape than mine. Thanks a lot for listening. Have a good day. Why does hot ice, sodium acetate, instantly become a solid, and why is it hot? This is my aim for the science fair. Field of study, chemistry, which is states of matter, the chemistry field I have picked. So what is the study of states of matter? A state of matter is one of the distinct forms in which matter can exist. Four states of matter that are observable in everyday life are solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. What are the famous discoveries in this field? Radiation, polythene, penicillin, and the Haber-Boss process. On the right is a picture of a polythene bag. Who are the leading scientists in this field? Amedeo Avogrado, Jacob Berzelius, Niels Bohr, who's in the picture, and Robert Boyle. What is the current future research of your field? So basically, the chemists are working on green chemistry, which is trying to promote the use of renewable energy and stop using the non-renewable energy. For example, use windmills instead of instead of using pollutants for the world. So they've been donated about a hundred billion dollars to save the earth. This is my spider diagram, and the aim that I chose was in the green box and it says why does hot ice sodium acetate instantly become a solid and why is it hot why i chose this research question i chose this question because it's very interesting and a fun practical to do aim why does hot ice sodium acetate instantly become a solid and why is it hot so these are the sub questions for my aim what is the chemical formula for sodium acetate? Is it an exothermic or an endothermic reaction? Why does sodium acetate become hot? And why does the reaction make it solid? So to find out the answers to those questions, I needed a source that is credible. So to use that, I, f- I looked at the author, the date, the website link, and the relevant information, if it was correct to what I searched or not. So these are the answers that I got from my source. What is the chemical formula for sodium acetate? The chemical formula for sodium acetate is C2H3NaO2. Is it an endothermic or an exothermic reaction? The chemical reaction is an exothermic process, which means it releases heat. 
Why does sodium acetate become hot? The chemical reaction is an exothermic process, so the resulting ice is hot. Why does the reaction make it solid? The shock waves caused by the clay generates nucleation, or the seeding of an exothermic reaction, causing the liquid to instantly crystallize and the forming of solid to give off heat. So the equipment you need to make hot ice, a vinegar, a measuring beaker, baking soda, and a stove. Safety. So vinegar can cause severe eye irritation. So wear eye protection. Baking soda can make you cough and sneeze if, if you have inhaled it. And the stove has a very hot surface that could burn your hands. So a method. First add 440 grams of baking soda to a pan. Then add 500 milliliters of vinegar to the pan. Th and leave the mixture for one hour. Then add 100 milliliters of water to the mixture. Then slow kick the mixture for around 30 minutes till the mixture is clear. Then pour the mixture in a clear glass and let it cool down completely. Then, a scratch of some, then scratch off some of the remaining powder from the pan and dip it in the mixture. It should instantly turn into hot ice. Okay, so to do the sodium acetate experiment, first you have to add in 450 grams of baking soda. So that's about 450 grams of baking soda. Okay, so now that we got the baking soda sorted, we have to slowly, slowly pour in the vinegar. It's 500 milliliters. This is a chemical reaction that's taking place. Cool. Okay, so now we leave this mixture for about one hour. Wow, it kind of smells like coconut to be honest. Okay, sadly the experiment didn't work. It was supposed to crystallize into this powder and then you should melt it, but that didn't happen. So I'm gonna roll the clip of what should have happened. Challenge I faced during making this model. Making sure I had all the equipment I needed, finding the right source to make the model from, 
making sure the experiment worked. Doing it again because the forest one, sorry, first one didn't turn out like it was supposed to. 